Hi everyone, welcome to this video presentation. Degree student self motivations towards design thinking project. To match the realities of the fourth industrial revolutions IR 4.0, 50% of all employees will need reskilling in five years' time, according to the World Economic Forum. For the top 10 skill research, the future skill will be focusing on problem solving, self-management, working with people, technology use and development. So how might we prepare the university students for future skill? Design thinking encourages active problem solving, collaborations and experimental learning. Students will learn by doing and it encourages students to treat failures as opportunity for further improvement. Design thinking is a human-centered approach focusing on the needs of the user by integrating the feasibilities of technologies and viability of business to come up with an innovative solutions. There are five stages in the design thinking process, which are discover, define, develop, deliver, and iterate. First, students will understand the problems and the user by searching more information about them. After searching the information, they will identify the key or main problem to solve. They will brainstorm ideas and choose the best idea to create a pro prototype. Using the prototype, they will show and tell the solutions to the user, collect feedback to further refine the solutions. Ideal and Standard D School are the two design thinking institutes with the five design thinking process and stages as well. This study looks into self motivations of students based on self determination theory. For this presentation, we will be looking into intrinsic motivations of the students, such as pleasure, interest, enjoyment in completing the task in their design thinking group project. Eighty degree students from Bachelor of Accountancy, Bachelor of Business, and Bachelor of Finance took the online survey after they complete the design thinking course. Now let's look into the findings in the five stages of design thinking. At the discover and define stage, you can see that eighty-five point eight percent of the students are self-driven to search information to validate the assumptions to check whether the assumptions is right or wrong. 82.2 percent of the students are actively search the relevant secondary data such as statistics, newspaper, journal articles to understand the real situations of the problems and the user. 78.6 of the students will conduct the survey and interview to find out the user and stakeholders before they come up with the solutions. Next, in a different stage, when brainstorming the ideas, 79.8% of students they actually spend time to brainstorm and design the best solutions to solve the problem. 80% 0.9% of students that they are, they are actually open to receive the questions and feedback by lectures in and outside the classroom to further improve their group projects and their solutions. Despite seeing the lecturer face to face weekly, the students are, are also motivated to meet the lecturers outside the classroom. 64.3% percent of the students will actually make appointment to discuss group project with the lecturers. Next, for the delivery and iterate stage, 
83.4% of the students see improvement of their group project throughout the design thinking course. And it drives them to actually do more for that. 77.4% of the students actually feel comfortable and flexible with the change and revisions of the solutions. They learn by doing, they are not afraid of the trial and error. 76.2% of the students are actually motivated to continue improving the solutions after receiving round of feedbacks. The feedback will be given by the lecturers and also the course mate. For design thinking course, it also encourage and cultivate the feedback culture among the course mate as well. 82.2% of the students actually appreciate feedback received by the course mate or other group as well. So for this finding, it can be seen that 85.7% of the students enjoy learning things while doing the group projects. 80.9% of students say they actually try their best because they appreciate the design thinking skill and they know that it will be an important skill at the workplace after they, they graduate. 76.2% of the students, they are not afraid of learn failure and they actually learn by doing throughout this design thinking course. Lastly, this is actually interesting to see that 35.7% of students admit that they do the minimum just to pass the course, um, as this design thinking course is just a pass or fail for the course, which the pointer will not calculate it as a CGPA, but 64.3 students that actually were really committed to complete the complete the design thinking projects.